Hey everybody, this is Julian from Raw Physique again. All right, today I'm gonna do a quick video on protein intake and how much protein you should be taking in every single day. First of all, if you're just trying to lose weight and if you're not an athlete or bodybuilding, you will be taking in a different amount of protein, which is pretty self-explanatory. So if you're not an athlete, how much should you be taking in? Well, on various health websites, they all come together and basically say the accumulative the accumulative answer is 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram and 0.36 grams per pound of body weight for a sedentary woman or man so basically if you're not doing much and you're not exercising or have an active lifestyle at all and you weighed about 150 pounds you would be eating about 54 grams of protein every single day if you weighed 180 pounds you'd be eating 64.8 grams of protein per day and if you weighed 200 pounds you would be eating 72 grams of protein per day and so on this is for someone who does not have an active lifestyle and has a job that they're not moving around too much and they're trying to cut calories and lose weight now if you are trying to cut calories and lose weight you should not cut out protein if anything you should cut calories and try to raise your protein take each day because protein is an essential element that your body needs and it is better to cut fat and carbs opposed to protein but okay back to the subject on protein now if you have a very physical job like a firefighter or if you're cutting trees down for a living or anything that you're walking a lot or lifting weights or weighted objects anyway like UPS a mailman something that you're on your feet all day then you would not want to take in the minimum amount of protein that is suggested and also if you're trying to lose weight weight upping your protein and lowering your fats and carbs is also better because your body has more of a difficult time breaking down protein and turning it into amino acids therefore causing you to actually burn more calories when your body's trying to metabolize it so food for thought right there and how much protein should you take if you're an athlete you know regardless if you're playing soccer or football or weightlifting and that's where it comes to a little bit of a gray area so during different athletic and bodybuilding studies they have found that eating between 1.25 and 0.8 of your body weight in grams of protein while you're not in a caloric deficit you will gain muscle and stay healthy so that means if you weighed 150 pounds you'd be eating 120 to 187 grams of protein per day if you weighed 180 pounds, you'd be eating 144 to 225 grams of protein a day. And if you weighed 200 pounds, you'd be eating 160 to 250 grams of protein per day. And this is if you're just trying to stay healthy and build muscle uh, if you're not trying to cut. So you have to be intelligent with this when you think about how much protein you should actually take. Now, if you're working out exercising you know trying to body build or you're in an athletic sport and on top of all that you're trying to cut down your body fat at all then you would want to lean more toward the 1.25 grams of protein per pound of body weight that would slow down the breakdown of your muscles uh, when you're in that caloric deficit because when you're trying to get cut and you're trying to lose weight and your body fat drops down depending on your genetics below like 13% body fat and you start getting lower to 12 and 11% body fat, you will start to lose muscle. So you want to do everything you can to make sure that doesn't happen. So raising your protein intake will help out and be more beneficial to keeping your muscle mass on your body during these cuts. So if you're actually bulking or trying to bulk up at all, if you're thinner and just trying to gain mass and muscle size and you're eating excess calories every day in order to do that, you're safe eating just 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight. If you're on an intense cut and you weigh 180 pounds and you're trying to drop that fat and you're under about 15% body fat, you should eat around 225 grams of protein per pound of body weight every single day in order to slow the breakdown of your own muscle. Now, if you weigh, let's say 180 pounds and you're trying to gain mass and size, you're okay eating 144 grams of protein per pound of body weight because your body isn't going to be taking your own muscle and breaking it down into amino acids for your body to use because you're going to be in a surplus of calories. Now if you look around online and check out people's Instagram, 
there is a debate on how much protein people should take. You have these fucking Instagram models, whether it being male or female, that are probably on, well not probably, they are on steroids and other performance enhancing drugs. And they can make gains with a lower amount of protein per day. But if you're going all natural, this is what you have to do. And you also have other people that are all natural that debate how much protein to take every day. And that's because everyone's genetics are different. This is accumulation of all that and different studies that have shown how much protein you should take if you're active or unactive. You don't want to go to just a random website that has all these tutorials that people probably just put up and talk about how eating soybeans will make you fucking rip. That's just not the case. You have to look at all the information together and the science behind that. So if you're extremely active or bodybuilding, I'd suggest eating 1.0 gram and over of your body weight in grams of protein every day. So with me during my cuts, I end up eating over my body weight in grams of protein each day. So if I weigh like 160, I'll try to eat at least 180 to 190 grams of protein per day if I'm in a cut. If I'm not in a cut, I will eat as low as like 0.8 grams of protein per my pound of body weight each day. So on the weekends, if I'm on a cheat day or if I'm taking in a lot of extra calories that day, uh, I, I'll back my protein down some so I could use the calories for something else, like a fucking candy bar or gummy bears or something like that. So I, I could possibly only be eating 150 to 160 grams of protein during days like that. So I hope this was informative and helped out on how much protein you're going to decide to take in each day. If you have any questions, you could comment down below and I'll try to answer those for you. If you like the video, please like the video. I pump out videos at least once a week with informative nutrition, exercises, and up-to-date information to make yourself an extreme athlete. So if you'd like to see those, please subscribe over here. I got some other videos you can check out over here. I've also got fats and carbohydrate videos. If the site's back up and working, please visit julian-rawphysique.com. And all right, y'all, that's it for today. Peace.